Hi everybody. Sometimes you need to have a very nice surface, maybe for example in the middle of a car rim, and then you can't use the standard sphere because it looks really ugly up here. <clears throat> if I take away the wireframe you can see how ugly this really looks. So it's probably not usable for many things. And then you could say, well, in this case, I take a quad ball, which uh, with a subdivision level of 5, for example, which makes very nice surfaces. I completely agree with this one, but there is also a drawback. If you look at uh, the number of edges a quad ball has, it's always dividable by 4. And sometimes the number of edges are given and maybe they are not dividable by 4. So I would like to show you how to make really nice surfaces <coughs> which render very well with uh, any number of even of course, even <laughs> edges. So let's uh, get rid of this one and I go to top view by hitting the one key on the numeric A to put it in the middle and let's say we make a cylinder with 22 sides. Bring it out here, make it 2 to 2 by 2 to 2 and zero here, drop the tool, hit the A key, hit the B key for bevel, bevel it in once and shift click bevel it in again and hit the delete key. Now I select these four edges and these four edges and bridge them together. Next I make symmetry on the set, go to poly mode by hitting the three key, select these three polygons, shift C to go to the slice tool, then I can slice in uh, edges exactly here. Use the middle mouse button to re take that tool and bring it down to here about. Now I can select all these polygons, hit the R key but with uh, symmetry off and just enlarge them a bit. Uh, take these two, hit the R key again, use the blue handle, just make them more or less comparable size. R key again so, like so. That's good. Now I use symmetry on the X this time. Go to edge mode by hitting the 2 key. Select these edges and deselect these and these ones. And now we can bridge them together again. Now I can select these edges and hit the P key. And if I go to Sub D mode by hitting the tab key you see we have a very very nice starting point for a good looking uh, surface. So I need a fall off, a radial fall off, put it in the middle, make it the same size. What did I use? 222, 222 and 0. Now go to perspective mode, hit the W key without symmetry of course and bring this up to where we need it, like so. We don't need a fall off anymore and here is our absolutely perfect surface. Let's assume we want to make the head of a screw, so I select these polys here Control X, Control V to separate this part, 
then hit the R key to zero it out on the Y drop the tool deselect everything go out of sub D mode go to the right view hit W key and bring this down to about here now I go to edge mode again select all these edges hit the R key and make sure they are aligned now I can add uh, sorry merge some words it should be four yes <clears throat> now I go to symmetry on the X again select all these now sorry 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 symmetry on the set select these hit the R key again and straighten them out so I can deselect this here now and this here can go to edge bridge bridge it together and you see I now have uh, created triangles here this can easily be fixed by selecting an edge in here alt C with the count of one and now we have quads so I can hit the P key drop the tool and you see we made the top of a screw head it's uh, not finished I, I mean I can uh, harden some edges like uh, these here these here but the purpose of this little video really only was to show that it is possible to make very nice surfaces very quickly with this method so thanks a lot for watching this take care and see you another time. Have fun modeling with Modo. By the way, I will leave this picture on for a while, as usual, to make sure I can select uh, the thumbnail for YouTube, which I want. So thanks again. See you some other time. Take care. Bye-bye.